Hey Scorpio, welcome guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different today too. So I keep getting these dreams lately. I wake up, I don't quite remember all of them and sometimes they don't make sense to me, but I have the distinct impression that someone or something is trying to tell me something. And guys, I'm also an empath, uh, so I can feel energies and emotions that belong to others. And I know that I am not the only one who is having this happen. I'm not the only one who feels uh, just this weird vibe, like there's just something going on, there's something bigger in the works, there's some sort of a big change that's happening. And I keep getting the word evolution. I keep getting the word ancient and I keep getting the word elemental like this is something much deeper This isn't just spirit. This isn't just a higher power It's not just the universe. It's something much deeper that belongs to all of us in some way that we are Interconnected I see the word roots in my head too It's like there's some sort of a root system that connects all of us and we've lost it over time But I feel like we're evolving back into it. So we're all getting these messages and we're having trouble making sense of them. We're having trouble recognizing them. Some of them might be in the waking world and some of them just might be in your dreams. So today I wanted to focus on trying to clarify these messages and what is being told to you. So we have water. Water is all about creation. It's creating something, creating a new life, creating some sort of a change. There is something that you're going to be creating or is that that is going to be created within you, some big change. You are part of something much bigger here. I also have volcanoes. Volcanoes represent power. I see the word event when I look at this card, this event, this volcano, whatever this powerful event is, is going to be life changing and it's going to be about creation, creating a new chapter, creating something and I feel positivity around that creation as well, I almost something heavenly or divine that we're going to be creating. I do have the equator, the equator is all about balance and equality. Something is going to come that's going to bring balance. This this event, this is what it's meant to do. It's meant to bring some balance in your life. I do have snow. Snow represents silence. Snow is, is that inner self looking within that meditation of finding that quiet within yourself, that stillness to be able to find the answers that you need. And I do have Earth. Earth represents home to me. This card is like coming home. But it's coming home to who you are. And this is where that creation comes into play. Whatever this event is, it's going to bring balance to who you are as a person. It's going to make you feel like you've come home. Comfortable in your own skin. Confident. Sure of yourself. I have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, I've heard it referred to as happily ever after card. Uh, this is what you're going to be getting. This is tied to earth. So this is not necessarily material things. These are things deep within you. This is this sense of coming home, being comfortable in your skin, being confident, feeling powerful in who you are as a person. This sense of inner peace and inner calm. The Three of Wands. The Three of Wands represents uh, overcoming obstacles while keeping your eye on your goal. This is talking about a forward positive progress, navigating challenges while still moving in a positive way in your life, moving towards your goal, moving towards what you want. This is speaking to when this volcano comes about, this event. Um, and being able to being able to navigate this challenge, being able to turn it into an opportunity, finding the positive edge of that and moving forward, using that to inspire you to create. These are the words that are coming into my mind, guys. I have the Knight of Pentacles, which represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. Mm, this powerful event, this powerful event plays a big part in it. I don't know if this powerful event is the thing that you've been working towards or this is a critical part in your journey of being able to attain the thing that you've been working towards. But part of the thing that you've been working towards is this earth card, this home, this sense of coming home, this sense of who you are, this sense of you as a person. The Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles uh, represents holding on and holding back. There's something that you're holding on to that is keeping you from moving forward. It's keeping you from evolving. It's keeping you from growing. This Volcanoes card, this event that's going to happen is going to force your hand in moving forward, in letting go, in embracing change. I see embracing uh, in this water card, embracing that creative 
I, that creativity, that creating something new, moving forward within yourself. The Hanging Mountain, he represents the only thing that can hold you back from success in life is you. And it is tied to this Four of Pentacles is something that you're holding on to is holding you back. It's holding you back from evolving. It's holding you back from growing. Whatever this is in this volcano is going to bring it to the surface. This volcano is going to force your, force your hand in dealing with whatever this is so that you can find that balance. You can find that inspiration. You can dig deep and, and find that comfort and that inner peace in who you are as a person. And that is your Ten of Cups. That is your happily ever after. It comes from within, guys. Alrighty, that is what the card said. I hope that clarified what's been going on for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys.